Hey everybody, this is Dave from Growing the Home Garden. I am here over on our property where we're eventually going to build a house and start some new gardens. And I'm just going to show you a, lot, a little bit around it. It's a little over seven acres. As you can see, we got a nice open space over here. I've got some posts stuck in where we think the house will eventually go. Just kind of a general idea right now. We haven't done any real work on that yet. I've just completed mowing for the day. Of course, I leave some areas natural for now. And you know, we'll just rotate around the mowing a little bit. It's really cool is so we've got some edibles already built into the property. For example, right here is one of a couple of persimmon trees. Let's see if I can find some of the fruit for you. Zoom in. I don't know if you can see that or not on the camera. But this is a native persimmon. And because of that, it is an astringent variety, which means it kind of makes your mouth feel all dry and puffy and weird when you eat it, and it's not ripe. So you got to wait until these things are perfectly ripe, which is pretty much right after they fall off the tree. So that's the American persimmon, which is kind of cool. They're popping up everywhere, little ones. I think uh, animals have planted them in various locations. I need to clean up around this tree. There's a black locust tree. Those things are very thorny. Kind of a pain to get around sometimes. Some nice oak trees up there. And we're surrounded on all sides pretty much by trees, except for this nice open space in the middle. And I'm going to take you over to the wooded area across the field here. Here we are looking back at that persimmon tree we were just at. One of the negatives on the property is all this Chinese privet over here. I spent some time cutting some pathways through it so I'd have an easier access into the wooded area. But this stuff is everywhere. I'll eventually get it out of here, but it's going to take some time. So here's a little pathway I cut through. We'll walk down this pathway for now. It's kind of a mess. That's what happens when you start something new. See all the privet. That I've cut through. Fortunately, the privet has got very, very thin branches, and so it's easy for a hedge trimmer to cut through. That's what I used over here. It's just a typical hedge trimmer. Pretty strong one, though. And so I was cutting the pathway in here basically so I could take an easier route to get over here to the pawpaw trees. Here's one of several I found on the property. That one doesn't have any fruit on it, but it probably will eventually. But I cleared all the way around it because pawpaws don't like the competition. They'll eventually have um, suckers coming up from them. Here's another pawpaw tree that I found. This one is uh, much younger and smaller, but you can see something's been nibbling on it. Hopefully it's the tiger swallowtail larvae. Because, not tiger swallowtail, zebra swallowtail larvae. Because it is, uh, the pawpaw is the host plant for it. It is such a neat looking butterfly. So we'll turn around, come down the other path I cut. Gotta watch my step here. A lot of sticks and stuff. Fallen trees. Here we are in, with another pawpaw. This one does have a fruit on it. There we go. See that? They're really pretty trees. 
I've been fascinated a lot with them lately. Just because of the fruit. I've never actually tasted it. I can't wait to. Hopefully this fall I'll be able to snatch that fruit before something else does. We're coming down another pathway that I sort of cut. Obviously there's some stuff in the ground that needs cleaned up. I need to get a chainsaw out here to make it a little easier to get around so that we don't have to climb underneath logs to get where we want to go. See here, this is another invasive bush honeysuckle. It's a nice looking plant, smells great in the spring, but it goes everywhere. That's invasive. And we'll come on out here to a little bit more of a manicured pathway. This one I can actually mow through. And this is the main pathway, and I branched off of it to find some other stuff. There's a pile of rock over there that perfect for stepping stones. See, I moved one of those over here. And then another secret path over to some tall pawpaws. Can't see them, but there are some fruit up there. They're really pretty trees. Yeah, we're back on the main path again. You'll notice that there's lots of vines climbing the trees. It's a combination of Virginia creeper that we got right there. And then up over there, it's a bunch of poison ivy. So you really gotta pay attention to what you're what you're cutting and what you're doing. Fortunately, I'm one of the lucky people and I don't really get affected by poison ivy. But, you know, I've got five kids, so I definitely don't want them to get a, into it. Over here is one little area where I think it'd be a cool shady spot to hang out in. Eventually that path will go all the way and connect to another one in the back. And so we've come out to the other side. Over here is kind of where I'm thinking the vegetable garden is going to go. You can see it gets a lot of sunlight here. Soil appears to be fairly good from what I've seen when I've dug in it. I haven't done any soil tests yet. That's probably something I need to do. But I'll clear this area out eventually, till it, and start a garden over here. I'm thinking maybe the blueberries can go in the back and then the vegetable garden up here in the front. So we'll see. I may change that idea completely by the time it's time to do that. See, I've left these patches of grass with pathways going in between them. I've always had a fascination with little pathways and stuff. I do want to show you this because it's pretty cool. This is a wildflower called Verbena simplex. Little pollinators hanging out on it. Little bees. So I try to avoid things like this when I'm mowing. Leave them something natural and native that they can enjoy. Of course, you can't go anywhere in the south without seeing pokeweed. I'm not a big fan of it, but for now it's just going to be there. Now, if you walk with me over this way, I'm going to take you over to see milkweed. Milkweed, of course, is what the um, monarch butterflies use as a host plant. This is just common milkweed. You can see the pod forming already there. These have already bloomed and ready to start producing seed. And this one, you got a milkweed bug hanging out on it. 
bugs and all kinds of stuff hanging out on those particular types of milkweed. Now, coming around over here on this side, I think we'll eventually be where I put my greenhouse. I've got to cut a few trees out. There's some Bradford pears. Well, they're not really Bradfords, but wild pear trees that need to be removed. Some locust trees that I need to take out. There's a nice dogwood over there, but it's being overrun by other trees around it, so they need to be thinned out. We have a lot of box elder trees, some juniper trees, persimmon, maple, oak, walnut, hackberry, of course the pawpaws. Just got a lot of stuff going on, which is really cool. So that's a short tour of the property, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, and subscribe for more videos later. Thanks for watching.